This video is about the Spanish Civil War, which lasted from 1936 to 1939. On one hand we had the Republicans, and on the other hand we had the Nationalists. Spain was once a superpower, but lost the status during the 19th century, fell back behind other European nations, and the society was deeply divided between conservatives and liberals. In 1876, Spain became a constitutional monarchy, with conservatives, mainly conservatives, being in power. At the beginning of the 20th century, there was growing resistance against this political system, and this resistance was coming from republicans, socialists and communists, anarchists and, national and regional nationalists. In 1923, General de Rivera was appointed prime minister and ruled Spain de facto as a dictator. The problems didn't go away and there were two more military commanders appointed prime minister. But in 1931, the monarchist parties lost the municipal elections, the king resigned and Spain became a republic again. From 1931 onwards, the conflict between the left and the right political parties intensified. In 1932, there was an unsuccessful uprising of General Sanjurjo. In 1933, the political forces of the middle and the conservatives formed a government. A year later, General Franco broke a strike against this government by military means. General Franco is the main leader of the nationalists, we will hear more of him. In 1935, the political left are united as the Popular Front. This Popular Front won the elections in 1936 and formed a left-wing government. Before we come to the events of the Spanish Civil War, I would like to take a look at the international involvement. Germany supported the nationalists through aerial forces, financial aid and weapons. Italy went a step further and sent 80,000 soldiers. Portugal sent a few volunteers and allowed weapons to be transferred, transported through Portugal to Spain to the nationalists. On the other side there was Russia, the Soviet Union supporting the Republicans by delivering weapons. The Secret Service of the Soviet Union was very active and also troops were brought in to Spain to fight on the Republican side. The other ally, ally of the Republicans was Mexico. The two remaining superpowers of Europe, Great Britain and France remained neutral. Now to the events of the Spanish Civil War. As mentioned before, there was a left-wing government which was not to the liking of leading officers. They planned a coup d'etat, but the government in Madrid heard about this and transferred leading generals to not too important and remote posts. Franco was sent to the Canary Islands, Chilpas to the Balearic Islands, and Mola was removed from powerful Spanish forces in Morocco to Pamplona. Anyway, the coup d'etat started. Franco arrived in Spanish Morocco on the 14th of July 1936 and then the coup d'etat started on the 17th of July. The leader was General Sanjurjo. At the time he was exiled in Portugal. The majority of the officers and non-commissioned officers joined the nationalists. and The nationalists gained control of the Canary Island, the Balearic Island, Morocco and large parts of the northwest, but only a tiny foothold in the south. It should be mentioned that from the start on there was there were atrocities against civilians from both sides. The nationalist leader San Jorge, who was as mentioned in Portugal, wanted to fly to Spain. His plane crashed, he died. And then we had two leaders. Mola commanded the nationalists in the north and Franco in the south. The nationalists captured the main 
naval base Ferrol in the northwest. In the south, German aircraft transported national troops from Morocco to Seville and southern Spain. This enabled the nationalists to gain control over the west and the southwest of Spain. On the 4th of September, the Republican government resigned and was succeeded by socialists and communists. In the north of Spain, the nationalists were successful in cutting off the, Rep the Republicans in the Basque country. On the 21st of September 1936, Franco was appointed commander-in-chief and he declared himself caudillo, which means leader. The Republicans were more and more under pressure in the area of Madrid, so they relocated their government from Madrid to Valencia. However, they could repulse a nationalist attack on Madrid. While they were not so successful in the south, the nationalists gained more and more momentum there. There were two more strategic victories of the Republicans, which prevented the encirclement of Madrid. The nationalists intensified their attacks in the north. Amongst other events, there was the bombardment of Guernica by the German Condor Legion on the 26th of April 1937. On the 3rd of June 1937, Mola died in a plane crash. Mola was the second in command on the nationalist side, and now Franco was the undisputed leader of the nationalists. The nationalists could take the Basque country and they could repulse an offensive, Republican offensive, around Madrid. By October 1937, the Nationalists had full control over the north of Spain. The Republicans tried to go to the offensive, gain, regain the initiative. They tried to take Saragossa but failed, and from now on they were only on the back foot. The Nationalists were much more successful by advancing towards Valencia, which had a consequence. The Republicans again moved their government, this time from Valencia, to Barcelona. The Nationalists won the Battle of Teruel, and that is normally considered as the final turning point of the war. Then the Nationalists advanced towards the Mediterranean, and the Republican government sued for peace. But Franco said, no, not with me. I demand an unconditional surrender. And then there was the last desperate attack of the Republicans, but that was doomed to fail. On the 10th of February, the Nationalists could capture Catalonia, then they captured Madrid, and by the 31st of March 1939, the Nationalists controlled all of Spain. One day later, the last Republican soldiers surrendered and Franco declared the end of the war. And from now on until 1975, Franco ruled Spain as a dictator and this reign was only ended by his death. That was the Spanish Civil War.